Good morning, you guys. So this is going to be a pick a card on when you will get pregnant. What will help you get pregnant? Messages from spirit. How you will feel when you get pregnant and messages from the father. All right. Um, I want you guys to pray. All right. Meditate, whatever you choose to do to connect with your spirit guides before watching this reading. You can pause this reading if you need to, but for a lot of you, you definitely need to pray more. Um, whatever you pray for, however you pray, is no set way of how you should say it, what words you should use. Just allow, just allow spirit to guide you, right? Um, <clears throat> this... This is going to be for the mothers who are trying to get pregnant, who desire pregnancy. Even if you are actively trying, but you desire pregnancy, and you just want a little bit of insight on your situation, then this is the reading for you. If you feel like you are listening to a reading and it doesn't sit well with you, choose another option right for some people they are more geared towards choosing colors um are choosing time stamps for me i normally choose time stamps i don't know why but my intuition is drawn more to time stamps so if you feel like that is something that will help you then look at the timestamps and use your intuition and choose the first one. Sometimes your intuition can be a little off. So choose again. So we have option one, option two, option three, and option four. For some of you, you just need to close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out, and then choose your option. There's somebody that is going to watch this reading that you truly desire pregnancy. You desire pregnancy. And I feel like for you, you can almost be at the point where you are kind of giving up hope. Don't give up hope. I'm not saying that this reading is going to solve your problem, but you are definitely going to get some insight to your situation. I'm also hearing that like it's day and night, mostly at night, like before you go to bed, mostly at night, you could be sleeping with your phone and you're watching video after video after video. There's something that needs healing. And it can also be something that you are eating I'm not a doctor, but some of you need teas, herbal remedies. And you also need to connect with God more. You need to pray more. You need to bring peace back into into your life I haven't even started the reading but I can just feel the sadness you feel alone Okay, 
So I am going to begin the reading. Hey, option number one. So if you guys chose this orange bow, let's get into you guys reading. I can already feel like this reading is a little bit heavy. Not you guys reading, but the overall energy of everything, right? We're gonna just keep these like this. <clears throat> so, for option number one, positive affirmations. So, this is what will help you attract this child that you have been asking for. So maybe it is you guys that I was feeling earlier before I started this reading. For a lot of you, you may be a little bit older, so that can be something that is affecting you. This could also be a situation where you don't feel heard. Some of you feel like your spirit guides, they're not hearing you. God isn't hearing you. I have prayed and I've prayed and I've prayed over and over again. And I have yet to receive my healthy, abundant spirit. Where is my baby? Where is, where is my child that I have been trying to manifest? I've done the work. I have been kind. I have been given. I'm here, some of you don't even have a partner. Like I'm, I'm hearing that some of you may go the route of choosing a sperm donor um, because you don't have a partner or you have just been attracting partners who has not been up to part to actually conceive with you. So a lot of you, you think it's your fault. It's me, you know, it has to be me because I have yet to get pregnant. This could have definitely made you feel like there are parts about yourself that you do not love. With this, I love myself. You can say it all day, but if you don't fully believe it, it doesn't hold any weight. Like, God knows when you are lying. And I'm not saying like, oh, that's the reason you're not getting pregnant. No. You have to heal to a point to where you just accept it. And that is hard. That is, it's, it's simple, but that is so hard to do. And I can only tell you this because I know, because there has been... There have been so many things in my life that I had to accept that I'm just like, oh, that's not, no, I can't, I can't accept that. But once you accept this, like you allow, you allow God to come in and do what needs to be done. You take your will out of it and welcome the creator's will, right?
some of your spirit guys, most of them are saddened at the, at the fact that you are sad. But everything must work in a certain order for the type of person who you are. You cannot procreate with people who aren't for you or people who are less than you. And I mean that. You cannot procreate with people of low value, low vibration. The sea will never survive in you at all. Some of you always consult with a doctor, right? But some of you need to do a cleanse, right? Like a full cleanse. This is mentally cleansing, spiritually cleansing. Cleansing your aura, clean, cleansing your home, cleansing your tub, cleansing everything. And once you are done cleansing all of these areas in your home, open the windows. Even if it's cold, just open up all the windows to allow all that energy to get, get up out of, out of there. Even if you have old panties, throw them out. What is for you is so special that it will not come easy. Some of you, you will have a sperm donor for the ones who have not found the partner. You will have a sperm donor and this sperm donor and you could be friends or you will eventually be friends. The child that you will create is beyond special, so it's going to take time. It's not your diet. It's not what you're drinking. It's not what you're doing. It's not what you are watching. Keep the phone away from your stomach area. It's not that your spirit guides do not hear you, that they do not want to answer this prayer for you because they actually do. But if I was to give you something the way you desire it with the person you desire it or how you desire it, it wouldn't be as special as what I have for you. Trust in my plan is what your spirit guides are saying. Trust in my plan. For some of you, sperm donor is not the route that you are meant to take. And that can also be something that you have to embrace, that you must connect with the right person before you procreate with this person. Because it's not just you who must form this child. It takes a, a, a woman and it takes a man. And then God comes and put his little sprinkles on there. Then you have baby. So how you will feel during pregnancy. So we have children here. So for some of you you could have a baby with someone who already have children, especially if you decide to have a sperm donor. I feel during pregnancy, you would just be in odds that you have conceived. You will finally feel like your blessing has came. 
something about the situation could be premature to the person who you have the baby with. This person could possibly still have things going on. Even though this child, this, this card speaks about children who may be affecting the connection, meaning like, you know, this person may have children already. This can also symbolize a person who could be younger than you, could be childish or anything in that nature. In your case, I feel like there can be certain aspects about your partner that you do not enjoy. This is saying a prayer, right? But you know what they say, be careful what you ask for. You got to be real pacific about what you want because you can miss a few things. I want a husband. You know, I want him to have this, this, and a third, but you have forgotten to include that I want this man to love me with everything in him. I want this man, you know, to live a righteous life or whatever it is, right? You have to include those things. So I feel like with this person, they could have flaws that they have yet to clear. They may be imperfect, right? But like I said, for you to even get pregnant, this person has to be high, high vibrational. So although they may have these flaws, spirit has already deemed them as worthy because you see the now, but spirit see everything the future of this person their heart i don't feel like you will actually have issues at all you would just be overjoyed to finally have a child you are going to rub your stomach a lot you may rest a lot because you fear the risk of losing this baby. You are going to be very nurturing towards this child. This baby will be your world, but I feel your partner may not show the same affection because they don't either know how or they may not fully be as prepared as you are. But I'm here and do not doubt this person because this person is going to be the person for you. They may definitely be younger than you though. Right? <clears throat> so Spare wants you to know that they have put this connection together. They have put you guys together. They're going to bring you your yin to your yang. I'm not saying this is a twin flame. Some of you are still hooked on the whole twin flame journey, and that is fine. That is okay. I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. But if you are asking, will I have a baby with my twin flame? I don't know. But I know this may not be a twin flame union but this is definitely a union that is divinely guided for you to create this 
beautiful, abundant baby. Right? So for some of you, although it is in October, I'm here in August. So October, August, also for some reason I'm here in April. I'm also getting that there could also be a mixture of your birthday with this person's birthday. Like you may get pregnant in the month of their birthday and, and have it in your birthday or something like that. Like your pregnancy is going to make sense like that, right? So this goes back to what I said about your partner. Although this person may come off at, at first as, oh, you know, um, unsure and maybe they're not as excited, you know, I don't feel like it's really going to bother you as much. You, you're going to feel like, well, I'm happy that I'm pregnant, but you know, things could have been a little bit better. You may be a perfectionist, right? This person is going to support you in ways you didn't even ask for you didn't you didn't think you needed you couldn't have imagined it right you may not be the type who wants your feet rubbed your back rubbed um certain certain things like you know a, a guy who actually cooks because you know how to do this stuff right so it's like okay i don't really need that but once this person starts to provide that for you It's like you didn't know what you needed until you have it type of energy that I'm getting with this. So when this person starts to provide these things for you, it can it's small things that this person is going to do that is going to mean the world to you. It could just be this person, you know, every month on the day that you guys met, bring you a certain color flower. Maybe it's orange, maybe it's yellow, maybe it's red. Whatever it is, it's going to symbolize love and you are going to feel very blessed and understand why you had to wait and why they put you guys together. But I feel at first it's not going to really make too much sense for you. So let's get a message from your from your person. So I'm ready to call you mine. So like I said, there's going to be something premature about this connection, right? It can be that you get pregnant by someone who you've already been with, but this person has upgraded themselves. They have made themselves worthy because they stop resisting. They stop resisting change. We are coming into this era where we're not waiting anymore. Why wait for Mr. Wrong when you can love someone who is ready now? We will not be on this earth forever. So why keep waiting for someone who refuses not only you, but God's will, the most high will? Why? That would make absolutely no sense at all. So for a lot of you, this is definitely somebody with some children. But for a lot of you, your person agreed and said, okay, I'm ready. They started changing their lives. Yeah, this is definitely somebody with some children. They may have multiple children, right? Like, they may have multiple kids already, but that doesn't really bother you. I don't feel like that's going to really bother you. You are going to be so happy that it finally happened for you. 
So let's get the time frames, right? All right, so you see Aries. And that's, I think I said April or something. But yeah, you may get pregnant in like Aries season and then have your baby in October or whatever. I don't know, right? But it's going to be something like that. It's going to be where your you get pregnant in the month of one of you guys birthday and wednesday could actually be significant for you guys maybe some of you actually get pregnant on the 14th of a month but numbers and all type of things will be very significant for you guys i definitely do not believe you guys will get pregnant in one month I'm feeling like it's more geared towards if we are if we are talking months, it's four to eight months. Because you need and please, please, please understand you need time to clear out things. This person need time to clear out things as well. And they may still be dealing with that. <clears throat> this is why it's going to take a little bit longer. Your person is half of the reason why you are kind of holding up like at bay right now as well. Even though I'm saying no waiting. This is the person who has been chosen for you. So within divine timing is when things will move for you guys. Okay. So this is you guys reading. I truly hope this gives you guys some clarity with your situation. And I wish you guys all the best of luck. All right. So until next time. Hey, option number two. So we are going to see what will help you get pregnant. When will you get pregnant? Message from spirit. How will you feel? And messages from the father. Or a message from the father. So for some of these options, you guys got more cards than the other pal. And I think this is definitely one of them where you guys got more messages. Okay, but let's see. Okay, so you guys... You guys, what will help you get pregnant is cleaning your aura, cleansing your energy. Um, I'm also getting a change of scenery, change of thoughts. You may be at this point where you are thinking about all the people who have successfully conceived. For a lot of you, you could have tried um IVS you could have tried uh, you could have tried like you've been trying for a while okay um you've been doing a lot of research right um you even tried switching up diets and things like that you tried to do it the natural way I feel like yours Yours is just like you may have a set of eggs already prepared or something like that. Um, or this is something that you are currently thinking about. It has like for some of you, you could have even gotten close to where you've chosen like um, a surrogate or you were close to choosing a surrogate, but something fell through i'm seeing like some of your um i'm seeing like some of your plans like constantly falling through are you having situations where things kind of fall through it doesn't go as planned 
you are very determined, but it's as if it's like, some of you are just saying like, you know, like, what's the problem? Like, I have the money, you know? So what's the problem? Oh, well, ma'am, you have to have this. Okay, well, I, I've done that like three weeks ago. So what's the hold up? Oh, well, it's a procedure and we have to do this, this, and the third. You feel like you kind of getting to run around with something, right? And I feel like at this point, you guys are just like, what is, what, what else is there to do? For some of you, you may not even be into spirituality. If you are, and this is not resonating with you, you should definitely choose another option because... For the people who chose this option, you may not be into readings. You know, you may not fully believe what we say, you know, um, but you you just have this, well, what the hell type of attitude, you know, I've tried everything else. I'll, I'll give I'll give this person a try. I'll try holistic healing at this point because nothing else is working. Okay, you said I have to take these type of herbs. Okay, what do I got to do with this? It's like that. It's like somebody who is reading a book and your whole reason for reading this book is to ace the test other than actually taking that information in and using it because you actually want to. I know that probably sounded stupid, but I don't know. <laughs> but this is just what I'm getting where, you know, you just feel like, hell, what what you say I got to use? Oh, okay. Um, a little sage around the house. All right. All right. I, I sage that little area over there. No, you cannot move my, my mother's earth, old furnace or something like, you know, um, I still want that. It's like it's like you want something but there's also this resistance to what what is required of you. So you may be on this journey to awaken spiritually but instead you are like half assing it, right? Don't shoot the messenger. This is just what I'm getting if you feel like it does not resonate then Please choose another option. But for the people who it's resonating with, this is the issue. The most high God, spirit, want you to do this to heal you. To actually cleanse and clear out the energy that has built up around you. This is not a quick fix. You want this prize, you must do it my way. So if you keep going places and it's like, for some of you, you know, you doing certain things and you just keep getting a run around and they're like, well, Sorry, ma'am, we just lost this. And sorry, due to COVID, we, we did this. And due to this, you know, we had to reschedule you for this. And, oh, man, your donor just said that they they have no more jizz for you. Like, things like that. Like, every turn you take and you keep missing it, this is why. So how will you feel during pregnancy? That was a lot. Hmm? So calling in your soulmate, true love. True love. Da, na, na, na. So when you get pregnant by this person, you are going to feel happy that you decided to do it God's way, the most high way. You are going to feel overjoyed. You are also going to have, I got a new attitude. You are going to have a new attitude about life, about everything. Some of you, you can be overly materialistic. 
oh no, I don't want that donor. That donor doesn't have good hair. That donor doesn't have good genes or like something like that, right? When you get pregnant, you are going to be so, so happy with the person who you have this child with. You're going to feel overjoyed. You're going to feel like your prayers have been answered because you actually decided to give something. Whenever you want something, you must give something. All right. So in your case, <clears throat> you're going to feel like this is a blessing. This is somebody who was sent straight from heaven. And, and this may be someone you just bump into at the coffee shop. For some reason, this may also be somebody that you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have given the time of day. But this may be a situation where you constantly see this same person. And you finally, after clearing all this toxicity within you and around you, you finally are able to accept what God is blessing you with. Right? With the what the most high is offering you because you cannot accept this in your state because in your state this type of person that will be gifted to you is someone who's not of high value in your in your light in in your eyes and you know for that very reason you must cleanse that energy so you can actually see you'll be amazed at how much we don't see when we have not cleansed and have not healed ourselves we overlook people who were sent from us we treat them like peasants we we treat them like they're less than and then we go and we love on a person who don't give that back in return because we do not know any better. And society has definitely made love look like something that is not. There's a lot of people who aren't really in love. But if you look at photos, you would think they are because they have on matching shoes. They have associated love with material wealth. And you could have this problem. Now, again, if you feel like this is not your option, choose another one. But in this pal, that is the problem. Your problem isn't money. Your problem is your energy. Your problem is your thoughts, how you look at people, how you look at things. And if you are constantly searching and you are getting all these, all these um, obstacles, it's not spell work. Some of you think it's, oh, it's a spell. It has to be. It's not. It's what you are required to do because it's time for you to awaken. It's time for you to upgrade your life. So like I said, some of you may not even believe in this, but because of you desiring this child so much, you're going to begin to believe in something. <coughs> exactly. So, Spirit is asking you to think about it, right? Reconsider. Reconsider trying to do it your way 
and welcome my way. Because see, you don't get to tell the most high how to run your life. That's why I tell people all the time, they say we have free will. I say this all the freaking time. We do not have complete free will. Because if we did, we would have chosen things that would have later screwed us over. Worse than, than what we already, you know, got ourselves in. So please, if you are going to come to me, this is like somebody being on their deathbed and they don't believe in God. They don't believe in anything. They don't believe in the most high. They don't believe in anything, right? Being on their deathbed and, and all of a sudden, oh my God, uh, yes, uh, Jesus, please help me, save me. Uh, like, excuse me? Do I know you? So when you come to the most high, come correct and come willing to do what is required of you to get this baby. So yeah, a lot of y'all, like I said, y'all been doing the IVS. And then, like I said, for some of you, this person isn't somebody that you're into. This may be the corny best friend that you thought you would never like. You could have also thought this person was gay. I'll, you know, like, you know, I don't, I don't see myself having a baby with you never, you know? But you will fall in so deep in love with this person. This person is going to become your family. This person is going to be very happy to have a family with you. You will have your baby on time. And you are definitely going to change your mind. It's your, it's your mind, it's your, your energy, it's your, your whole deal. You know, the way you see things, the way you probably value people, like I said. Everything is going to change once, once you really start doing what you are supposed to be doing, right? So let's get a message from this person. sorry I ran from you so this can be someone that you possibly tried to date before but some of you I've, I really get the vibe that you consider this this that this person is just gay there could have been a one night stand between you guys and because this person never called you back to make yourself feel better you said well they gotta be gay and once you convinced yourself that this person was gay, you ran with it. I don't know why I keep getting that, but yeah. I'm sorry I turned my back on you. I'm sorry I never called you back. Some of you, you had a one night stand with this person. And you kind of already knew that it was going to be that. But for some reason, you expected them to call you back. And they never did. But it was because of your attitude. Some of you, you, ha you just have a bad attitude. So. Something comes to an end. So within five to nine months or weeks it, it depends on you spirit is saying listen it depends on you as soon as you tell me that you are open to my will and my will only because only through me will you conceive 
Even if you're doing it IVS, it doesn't matter. Only through me will you have a successful pregnancy. Because this is a situation where everybody's like, oh, well, we I planted the egg, but, you know, it didn't take or like something like that. Like something isn't working for you. Only through me will you conceive. Maybe you guys will get pregnant in Libra season. But only through me will you conceive. So some of you will get pregnant. Depends on you. The sooner you get on it, the sooner that you, you really get your stuff together, that is when you will get this positive test that you want. But you're getting more than that when you do it this way. Like, you are, you guys are going to get a partner that may not be flashy, but this person is so worth it. So, yeah, that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, option number three. So funny short little story so i have been recording like regular and i've just turned my phone because i'm like why like this is not no old phone so why is my videos looking so blurry right so i just turned it to 4k and now it's clear so for some of you things are going to start to make sense for you possibly because you know I figured it out on you, like, on your pal. So, yeah, I think it has something to do with y'all. <laughs> it was funny to me. I don't know if it's funny to you guys. But if you guys chose this option, which is green, let's get to you guys reading. So, we are going to see what will help you get pregnant. When will you get pregnant? Message from spirit. How will you feel when you get pregnant? And also messages from the father. Well, a message from, from the father. Oh, yeah. Use another pal that got time frames. Hmm. All right. So, what will help you guys get pregnant? So, you guys need to stay hydrated. You guys need to walk more. I'm hearing you guys can't stomach water like that. So, it's it's people like that where they really can't stomach water like that. So, in your case, um, get your water through fruits. Maybe you guys should also start like juicing. Um, some of you, you need to like rest more. You can be like really exhausted with trying to get pregnant. Um, so much so that you are just kind of looking a little bit older. Like you're not getting enough rest. You can also be working too much, too many demands on you. Um, I'm hearing something about oil. I don't know if there is, but hey, this is what I'm hearing. So something about oils. Get some type of oil each night. Say a prayer as you rub your stomach. It can simply be like anything, you know. I will manifest a healthy baby. My baby is healed and healthy. I will deliver a healthy baby. Um, I will conceive a healthy baby. My body is healed to where I can conceive the, a healthy baby, like anything like that. But you guys, yours is simple. You just need to, you know, get rest and drink more and go outside more. You also need to walk more. You need fresh air. A lot of you need a lot of air. Like, that could be why you guys chose this Hunter Green. You guys need some air. You guys need, um, you need some nature in your life. Yeah, look at you. 
you guys can be turned into like a couch potato where you are just always in the house um watching movies and things like that but also with this watch a movie it's relaxed and you also see a little pinch of nature down there relax go get a massage you know um for a lot of you you are drinking too much tea or you are taking way too many vitamins that it is actually drying you out quicker than if you were not right so yeah for some of you you need to do that you need to um you need to rest more just relax you know, I know, you know, times are a little tough right now, so maybe you can't take off work or something, but you guys have a heavy workload or something in that nature. And I'm not saying, oh, that's the reason you're not conceiving, but that is aiding the reason you're not conceiving. You will conceive when you relax. All right, so when you get pregnant, your person is going to be all over you. Your person may love the color green. Your person could be an, be an earth sign or an air sign. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you may be an earth sign with an air sign or something like that. Maybe in you guys' placements with a little bit of fire. Um, you are going to feel very passionate about your person during pregnancy and your person is going to be going to feel and be very passionate about you. Um, I feel like this person is going to make sure that you are resting, make sure that you are off of your feet, make sure that you are taking your vitamins, making sure that they are giving you everything that you need. You are with the person who you have a baby with. Um, so yeah, you guys are just going to feel closer to your person. Um, you may take off of work when you find out that you are pregnant. Cause I, I believe this job or whatever you are doing, it was a hobby. It was your, your goal, you know, but now having this baby, conceiving this baby, this is your now goal. And you just want to create that that family dynamic you already have the house you already have the guy um you may you may want you know a dog or anything like that but you already you for a lot of you you are already pretty much set up you know to where you can support a baby if you bring it in and you have a very supportive person this person will eventually be your husband if this person is not already your husband. This person cannot wait to get you pregnant. And this is why I say I feel like you guys have been trying. Maybe you guys are trying herbs and just whatever you are trying, it could definitely be drying you out, tiring you out as well. So, and I feel like it's like your workload or whatever. But when you get pregnant, this person is going to adorn you with all the many things that you ask for. It's like, I worship you, my queen. <laughs> this person is really adorable. They're like, I worship you, my queen. You are my everything. <laughs> my love, my light, my everything. Right? So there is something that you aren't telling your partner. You're not telling your partner that you may um, be thinking about trying something else. You're not telling your partner that you are thinking about possibly, you know, getting a surrogate or like something like that or just thinking outside of you guys conceiving because you guys have either been trying but it's like okay it's not happening maybe we should maybe we should just adopt maybe my body just won't take a child or something like that so some of you may even be considering adoption or something like that but you guys um could possibly be 
wow okay you guys can possibly be thinking about that but i'm also getting that for a lot of you you guys just have a heavy workload and it's your person as well so maybe you guys don't get enough time to speak to each other or something like that is all it's kind of always like okay i'm getting off of work okay i am too all right we have this time frame bam bam thank you ma'am okay you're going to work all right i'm about to go to sleep i have to go do this it's like something very busy something like you guys have been very busy and it has not been like busy on child making right so you will have your your child um in the hospital some of you can be thinking about possibly you know having your baby at home water birth um anything like that but you will have your your child at a hospital so this will be a high risk pregnancy and it's the workload so for a lot of you yeah you will need to definitely take um you will definitely need to take off of work you know when you figure out that you are pregnant for some of you you may be like close to 40 like 37 35 or something like that if not doesn't it doesn't you know really matter but this this is just a situation where you have to just be a little bit careful you're not getting fat you're eating for two so some of you um you can even see her little feet like is it focused it focused when it wants to um you may be like real concerned about your weight like oh my god you know like you may be telling your partner oh my goodness i don't want to get too fat oh my lord um of course i want the baby but i don't want to gain more pounds it took me a long time to get rid of those like get rid of all those pounds and i'm eating again like oh my goodness why am i eating again so there's a lot about uh nutrition for you okay so let's get a message from your person so i didn't deserve your kindness so this person adores you this person feels like wow i did not deserve this but you you gave me this opportunity to bless you and assist you with creating this wonderful abundant baby um this person feels like you are a complete gift and they at some point in their life they feel like they did not deserve this they did not deserve you and you're so special to them all right so with this seven days seven weeks some of you are going to find out that you are pregnant when you are seven weeks um some of you you can be getting pregnant within seven days where you and this person sleep together you get pregnant within seven days you could get pregnant in gemini season three weeks three months you can get pregnant in pisces season which is definitely coming up um you know february um 12 weeks i feel like it, it will be more like 12 weeks but it's, it's more from three to seven months like you guys are going to get pregnant soon like you don't have much to worry about at all it's just you know your nutrition so you need to you know contact your doctor and check your levels and things like that but you don't really need to do much because yours is already in the in the works you already got the partner you got the partner you got everything you need to create this baby you just need to stop overworking yourself or stop doing something that you are doing that is draining your energy to the point where 
if you are making love to your partner, it's not enjoyable because, oh, I'm so tired. Okay, I'll turn this way. Like, it's not like, you know, really getting the full effect, you know? So, with that being said, that is you guys reading. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Hey, option number four. So, if you guys chose this option, what will help you get pregnant? Where will you get pregnant? Message from spirit. How will you feel when you get pregnant? And message from the father, all right? So, this is if you chose this option. Wow, you guys are the pal who got a lot of cards. Well, you are one of the pals who got a lot of cards. All right. So, you guys are very close to getting pregnant. You guys may need to align your chakras, right? Like clearing some energy, um, doing a little energy work cleansing your energy, maybe a little Reiki here and there, a little tune-up. You just need a little tune-up. I feel like you guys, um, you guys have been doing a lot of practicing, right? Some of you have been doing breathing practices where you are counting your breaths and doing things like that. Um, you have already started mentally preparing for this child. If, if you didn't know that, then that is what you have been doing. So this can be where you are just... <laughs> excuse me where you are just in your room and or wherever you are and I don't know where you're just breathing like you're literally about to give birth right um you can also be seeing your spirit babies uh coming around you because your third eye is on point um you can also be speaking this into existence you could be talking to your spirit babies your heart is open and ready to receive your children. Um, but there could still need to be just a little bit more work that you need to do. Um, energy work. Uh, but you guys are so close. Like, I don't know what else the cards are saying. But you guys are close to conceiving your baby. So how you are going to feel when you are pregnant with this free yourself you are going to feel light all right you have given up something you are given you are you are releasing the the past or um things that were holding you that were holding you back you are releasing that you are releasing um for some of you you had some type of I wouldn't say, um, routine. It was a routine. It was like a health routine or something. Maybe you ran for like an hour, 50 minutes or 30 minutes each day or something. Not saying you need to stop that, but you guys are giving away some type of routine. This can even be getting your feet done or, or letting people touch you, uh, where you let people hug you, you know what I'm saying? Or let, letting people do your toes or touching your feet or something like that is something with the feet, um, that does keep you grounded and keep you safe. So of course your feet so yeah um you guys are are limiting like who is around you and, and who touch you and things like that so during this pregnancy you are going to feel very very empowered okay you're going to feel like you can basically conquer the world with or without the father i haven't got to these messages so i don't know if the father will be present or not but in your case it's like you are going to feel so empowered where you feel that I can achieve just anything. You, you're you going to have like this boost of energy. Um, I feel like you and your baby will be so in sync that it's like it's fresh energy. 
you know, yeah, you do a lot of energy work, so you're going to feel your baby on a, a whole different level, soul level. And I feel that you're going to feel very free. Like, even with this saying, you know, free yourself, you know, this is freeing yourself from all type of things. You are going to feel lighter, like freer. You're, you're going to feel at peace, more peace in your life. Okay. You can be very focused on your finances during your pregnancy. You're not allowing something to stop you and block you. I'm also getting that you guys are going to change careers or, or change something you are doing. Um, you're going to stop supporting people. For some of you, you are supporting your family or something like that. You are going to give them a time limit to where, hey, I'm not about to overwork myself for you guys anymore. This is what I need. This is probably why Free Yourself is here because you guys are going to feel free. Again, it, it talks nothing about the person. So maybe some of you will have this child alone. Um, but again, we haven't got, you know, to the other cards, but, um, for a lot of you, you will not have financial issues. You are going to, uh, like focus more on your finances, you know, and less on the surroundings and who's with me and who's not with me and who wants to be in my life and who doesn't want to want to be in my life. Like you guys are going to focus more on self and baby self and baby self and baby daddy okay yeah daddy is cool but self and baby self and baby we are one you are going to become one with this baby like it's going to be like you can hear your your child's thoughts like yeah you guys will definitely be letting go either you are actually letting the father go because again, there's no there's no energy for the dad yet. Um, or are you just letting go of the the need? It's like whoever you get pregnant by, this person and you can be so in sync where it's it's to the point where it's like, I don't, you know, it's not it's to the point where it's like so much of an understanding that it's like I don't hate you and I'm not codependent on you. You just exist. You know? Um, you're definitely going to be choosing you. Choosing you and your baby. You know, like these people down here. You guys see like the little people down here? And it's like this lady. Is that a baby? No, but she kind of looked pregnant. And it's like you're going to be choosing you. It's me and the baby. It's me and my baby. Oh, snaps. It's me and my babies. So, <laughs> there could be babies. All right? So, you will have a boy and a girl. <laughs> Look at the little baby booty. It's so cute. And the little girl's like, go, go, brother. Go, brother. So, during pregnancy, you are going to, like, this is what I mean. Like, you guys are so close to pregnancy. Like, when you have this baby, when you have this baby, you are going to be so in tune. Like, of course, yeah, the dad is there, right? Because the dad has to be there in order for you to, you know, get pregnant. But I feel like you are going to be so in tune with the, the baby, the father. Like, your energy just continue, just continue this. Whatever you are doing, just continue it. If you meditate every day, whatever you are doing, just continue to do it because you guys are damn near pregnant already like this child is happening this child is coming you know what i'm saying you're going to be very 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 excited about this baby when i tell you this person is going to be very excited about this child as well this person may travel a lot or something like that but there's no issues between you and this person there's no issues between you and this person. You guys in sync 
great. Like, the baby is in sync with you guys. It's like a boom, 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 boom. All right, we checking all this off. Everything is good. The home is cleansed. Everything is good. My aura is cleansed. Everything is good. Me and my spirit guys be talking. We said everything is good. We're good. So you guys are good. So you don't have an issue with the father. <clears throat> you have an issue with the community. So there's babies. Boy and boy. So for a lot of you who chose this option, you guys are granted twins. You guys are either granted two boys or a boy and a girl. Could also be girl and a girl, but... Of course, it's not here, but it could definitely be, you know. <clears throat> January could be when you guys have a baby. And I'm actually recording this in November. I think today is, is this, today is the first, I think. So this is December. So you guys can get pregnant this month or next month. Um, And you... You can get pregnant in December and don't find out to January, right? But like I said, this baby is happening. Listen, three days, three weeks. It will work out soon. Y'all, this baby is happening. And y'all see this three? Like y'all see how it's all connected, intertwined? This baby, you, your partner, you guys are all intertwined, and this is why it's going to happen. Listen, one day, one week, it is almost going to fast. You and this person, oh my God, this, this is such a blessing, y'all. Some of y'all could be 31. This baby... You and this person are equally yoked, for one. For two, you guys equally want this baby. Are these babies? Listen, you guys equally want these babies. And this is why it's going to happen. Because you guys are equally yoked. You come from this heart and then you turn into whatever this is. I'm not going to act like I know, but it is so beautiful, right? This symbol is beautiful. But it's like you you come together, split apart, and turn into three. One soul turn into three. That turns back into one. When I tell y'all, I don't know what this was. But just your energy is... You're so prepared. You're so ready. Your spirit guides have already said, okay, you're ready to go. That's why I said, like, I feel like you guys are, too. you guys are already pregnant. Like, I don't mean like you are actually pregnant, but you guys, it's already done. Like, okay, like you could have said to your spirit guides, I want a baby. I want it on this day. I want it like this. We good? Spirit guides was like nice <laughs> we good this is exactly what we asked for like if you think it's like something you asked for but you are so connected to to source that it's good you just had something in your your energy field that you had to cleanse out or you had to clear and this is why you have to continue to do your energy work but it's already done so the message from the father, I'm upset at the fact that we're not together, right? But this is not, we're not together as in relationship wise. This is, I'm upset at the fact that you live far away or um I'm not able to always be around you because I'm working or something like that. Because like I said, I didn't feel no energy from the father, but I did not feel like 
you were like upset with this person. It's like a, a hit and miss with you. You like, well, you're you're here or you're not. It's me and the baby. Like your whole thing is, I need to do mm, what I was created to do, and that's br bring a healthy baby into this world. And that is what I'm gonna do. I'm focused on that. Me and you, we're good. We talk every day. I speak to you all the time. And this can be physically or telepathically. But you and this person, you guys are very in sync. So it's like, I don't have an issue with you, sir. But your person wished they had more time with you. So you guys are getting pregnant in one week, one day. And things are going to heat up for you guys really soon, really quickly. And you guys are ready. I don't, listen, when I tell you, this energy is so beautiful. Like, you guys got it. You guys doing the work. You doing the healing work. You guys know what you want. You have a very positive person who you, who you, um, who you are having this baby with. But how is your person feeling about you? How is your person feeling about you? So it is safe for you to love. So this person, I feel like this person, what we have in the back, pay attention to the red flags. So something about you may, and, and see, I was just, call to just see how this person feel about you the red flags is most likely the fact that you may not be codependent on this person where most people most most guys you know like their girl to kind of be codependent and you're not you are very like you don't have financial issues. You don't have issues. You have people issues. You have community issues. And I feel like with it is safe for you to love your person know that they can love you. There's some distance or there's something that separates you guys, but there is also something greater that bring you guys together. You are a force on your own. This person is like, really just like, you know, well, I'll be the worker. But this person knows, like, this is my privileged lady right here. You see her sitting on her horse? She ain't worried about nobody, not even her man down there. She like, listen, baby, you can get on this horse with me, ride this thing to the heels fall off or you can walk alone which one you want to do so you may just have this type of attitude because like i said i don't feel like you're like needy for your for your person you're not codependent on this person you're not hurting if they're not around and that may be something that this person is looking at as a red flag, they may feel some type of way sometime. No matter how healed you are, there's going to be moments where those past wounds come back up, right? So in this case, this is a situation where your person may have wounds that come back up and they question it but they adore you and you're just like i adore you as well but with or without you <laughs> baby daddy there's work to be done so you in or you out you choose <laughs> but yeah you guys love each other okay so that's you guys reading very beautiful reading you guys are so freaking close i promise y'all you this pal if you really feel like this was for you you guys are so close and you know it 
this pal know you guys are close. All right. So that's you guys reading. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.